So this webinar is going to be on healthcare costs. So first up, what are the issues with healthcare costs? Well, obviously, healthcare costs a lot of money. Um, medical debt is actually the leading cause of bankruptcy in the U.S. And studies show that the cost of healthcare increases exponentially after the age of 50, and that the annual costs for the elderly are approximately four to five times that of people in their early teens. Because the older you get, the more often you have to go to the doctor and the more prescriptions you tend to be on. And so this, these hospital bills just get higher and higher. And if you either have an insurance that doesn't have, is not very good, you are left with paying a lot of out-of-pocket and your, the cost of healthcare just continue to rise and rise. And so in the U.S., older adults often face major barriers to getting healthcare because of the cost. So because it's so expensive, they aren't able to get the care that they need, and they aren't able to live healthy lives then. So what happens when, we, when these healthcare costs are so high? So very often, patients, specifically seniors, do not, the care, do not get the care that they need because the costs are too high for them to afford. Um, studies actually show that two-thirds of older Americans consider healthcare costs to be at least a minor financial burden. And um, three in 10 adults between the ages of 50 and 64 report foregoing at least one basic need in order to cover the cost of healthcare. Specifically in this range, age range of 50 to 64, we see about 14% reduce spending on food, 15% cut back on over-the-counter drugs, and 26% buy less clothing. And they do this in order to afford healthcare. So, Nearly 50 million adults over the age of 50 are at risk of severe illness or death because of the high cost of healthcare and that they cannot afford it. So next, how does this affect adults age 50 to 64? So these adults aren't quite old enough to be, these adults are old enough to be experiencing health problems, but don't quite yet qualify for Medicare because you have to be over the age of 65 in order to apply for Medicare, unless you have a specific qualification that makes you eligible, but the average American is not between the age of 50 and 64. And so about 26% of Americans in this age range of 50 to 64 say that they or a member of their household did not seek treatment because of the high costs. In addition, about 18% of this age group say that they or family member also skip prescribed medication because of the cost. Um, so many Americans in this age range say that healthcare costs are a financial, or at least a minor financial burden, and about 52% say that healthcare costs cause stress in their daily lives. So next, how does this affect those that are age 65 and older? So many studies have shown that more than one third of Americans uh, over 65 are concerned they will not be able to pay for medical services in the next year. As I previously mentioned, the more the older you get, the more often I feel like you have to go to the doctor. You have more health issues, and they many times these medical expenses exceed the coverage of Medicare or whatever private insurance they have. So they have to pay these costs out of pocket, and the costs just tend to add up, and it becomes very expensive. In addition. Many long care insurances have become very expensive, and because of this, many older Americans can't afford this insurance, whether because they're tired and they may not have insurance through their employers anymore, and so thus they're stuck without insurance and having to pay for things out of pocket. So next, how does this affect other groups? So many times, there are gender and racial differences when it, ha when it comes to having to cut back on basic needs to pay for health care. So, for example, Black Americans are more likely to report foregoing at least one basic need to pay for health care, and women are also more likely to report cutting back on spending in order to receive health care. So, what things kind of contribute to these health care costs? So, one example is nursing homes. Nursing homes are very expensive and can last for many years, and Medicare doesn't cover this, and many private insurance also don't cover nursing homes. And so that makes it very expensive and costs a lot of money. Um, in addition, 
like I mentioned, older Americans are more at risk for health concerns, and therefore they need to go to the doctors more often, and the bills just start adding up and adding up. And in addition, as these healthcare and living costs continue to add up as these patients get older, their funds and their retirement account just start to dwindle, and thus they're left with not enough money to pay for these healthcare costs. So anyways, if you found this webinar about healthcare costs helpful, please consider a donation to support Retire Saves Future Endeavors. And thank you for your time.